Back in the old days, May used to freeze, Cassidy, or I guess McCree at that point, used to stun, and many more CC in Overwatch basically made it a stun simulator. Well, with the Season 5 balance changes coming next week, that's all back, baby! Aaron Keller has just released a Season 5 balance update debrief, so let's go through all the main points, no bullshit, just straight facts. The first thing addressed is Queen. I mean, if you aren't in metal ranks, I think you can realize that she literally dominates every game. I'm GM, and she's literally in every single game and if they have a queen and you have a guy who thinks he can still play Ryan in this meta you just lose they're reducing her shout to 150 from the 200 and even though I think it's the self healing that keeps her alive so well it this is just a common overwatch gold dev moment I guess we'll see how this plays out Next addressed in this post is Life Weaver, and just like we all know how Queen is amazing, we all know that Life Weaver is probably at this point the worst hero in the game ever. <laughs> Very rarely getting value and just overall pretty subpar. Well, they are tracking his abilities and he is getting buffs, quality of life changes, and possibly new abilities as well. What those new abilities could be, I have no idea, but we probably could be seeing a rework in the near future, which would be crazy because this hero has been out for two months there's no way they didn't test him but i, I mean he's terrible i wouldn't mind one <laughs> One shots are also nerfed in this patch, thank god, because dealing with a good Widow when you don't play Widow yourself is actually so AIDS, and Widow and Hanzo are both getting fall off nerfs. Widow can't one shot past 50 meters anymore, which is still long, but we're getting there. At the bottom part of this post, it says we are still deciding if one shots are healthy. Let me just say, you are so dumb if you think a one shot is healthy. One shots are probably the most unfun thing in the game. And they're also making Hanzo's sonar more obvious to the enemy team so they don't get just one shot randomly. Alright, next hero buffs, I have nothing else to say about snipers, I've, I think I've made my opinion pretty clear. Maze Blaster doesn't fully freeze people, but it adds a very buffed slow for one and a half seconds now, which May is already really good in the current meta, so we might be seeing a really heavy May meta for Season 5, literally the most slept on hero, and I'm going to say is going to have one of the biggest power creeps in Season 5, I'm calling it now. And along with May, Cassidy's nade gets a damage nerf, but it now slows and blocks movement abilities. So basically, instead of doing a shitload of damage when you throw it at a hero, it's say you throw it at like a tracer, you can, you're going to throw it, it's not going to do as much damage, but it's going to slow her and she still can't be able to blink away. So I think that's a really good change. Which is honestly huge if you're not bad at the game, so just hit your shots. I think most of these are pretty good changes actually, we're definitely going in the right direction balance wise, I don't know about game wise, but the balance might actually be good this season. There will be a season 5 video on my channel talking about everything coming, so be sure to subscribe for that, along with the countdown live stream I always do to the start of the season next week. Sorry for the slowness on uploads, I've just been in a phase where I think everyone's been the past few weeks with Overwatch where I've just lost interest for a bit in the game, so hopefully season 5 will have some really cool stuff to bring me back into things a little bit. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.